George Franklin Grant. George Franklin Grant was born on September 15, 1846 in Oswego, New York to Phyllis Pitt and Tudor Grant. When he was 15 years old, a local dentist, Dr. Albert Smith, hired him as an errand boy. He soon became a lab assistant and Dr. Smith encouraged him to pursue a career in dentistry. In 1868, he and Robert Tanner Freeman, another son of former slaves, became the first blacks to enroll in Harvard Dental School. After receiving his degree in 1870, he became the first African-American faculty member at Harvard in the School of Mechanical Dentistry, where he served for 19 years. Grant was a founding member and later the president of the Harvard Odontological Society and was a member of the Harvard Dental Alumni Association, where he was elected president in 1881. Grant specialized in treating patients with congenital cleft palates. His first patient was a 14-year-old girl, and by 1889, he had treated 115 cases. He patented the oblate palate, a prosthetic device that allowed patients to speak more normally. George was an avid golfer and considered for many years how to create a better tee for golf balls to be placed on. Until the turn of the 19th century, the balls were placed on heaps of wet sand. Grant, frustrated with this tedious and messy process, invented a wooden golf tee. Even though the patent for his tee, issued on December 12, 1899, was the first in the country, Dr. Grant never capitalized on his invention. Instead, he had prototypes made for his own personal use and handed them out to family and friends. Grant died on August 21, 1910 at his vacation home in Chester, New Hampshire of liver disease.